Um, what we're doing though is applying the principles. We all have genius inside. We all have a master mind that connects us one to another, that connects, that connects us to a greater mastermind, but we have inside of us a mastermind, but it takes cultivation, it mm -hmm. takes development, it's a process. Okay. Mm -hmm. And from there, we'll realize that our answers are literally in our reach. They're within mm -hmm. the mind, okay? If you find out what their superpower is at an earlier stage, they can develop it. It changed the whole trajectory of one's life. It is nevertheless never too late to discover and find out what your superpower is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Never too late <laughs> to discover and be in per continual pursuit of that superpower and development manifestation of that superpower good morning good evening good afternoon depends on your location on the planet dr wayne brown here with another mastermind meeting we have our special guest today joining us from san diego california reverend elise smith cooper how you doing i'm fine thank you good to be here okay we also have dr patricia Oyashiku from San Diego. Hi, how is everybody doing? Good. And we also have joined us from Japan, Kimiko Fujino. How are you? Hi. Ah. Hi, everybody. Uh, nice to meet you again. Okay. It's good to see you. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, Dr. Willie Blair wasn't able to make it in today. We're going to go ahead and continue on with the meeting. He'll try to join us next week. We're going to update him. Okay, if we look here at our meeting notes, uh, what I've sent out over the overnight and you have your weeding notes. What I'm going to do is have our quick news and welcome. I'm going to start off with our quick, our news and welcome. Okay. Some of the news, which is always important to discuss is current events, current events. And as you know, some of the current events that we need to discuss today are just the COVID-19, um, we're talking about developments that are taking place in the world. And here in Okinawa, actually, there's new developments, upwards of 200 cases of COVID-19, primarily on military bases. Okay. Um, we're not going to focus too much on that, but it is just a current event because it pertains to all of us in real time. Okay. In addition, let's look at some of our notes. Zoom audio, uh, yeah. Yeah, our meeting, one. which we covered last week, just a quick recap of pros and cons. Here's one of the pros and cons that we want to make sure that we cover. Uh, meeting flexibility, meeting introductions and dialogue, which went well. Uh, members, uh, uh, as far as the diverse pool of experience and backgrounds, which we all have, we're meeting in small groups. We're only meeting in, in a total of four. Four. Facilitator uh, plus four other members. So uh, I don't count myself as, I should count myself, so therefore we're going to say a meeting of five. Communication techniques, what we're talking about is member, uh, respectful, um, as a member has uh, respect for each other. Uh, no one has talked over any other members. We use constructive advice, which is given, and we've stayed on the topic. Transparency. Challenge and roadblocks were clearly addressed. A theme developed from last week, and that is called relevancy, to be relevant. Relevant as in your existence and have relevant topics to discuss. Some of the cons, though, what we want to do is when we're having online type of communication, we want to make sure that we are looking directly into uh, the monitor. We also had an issue as it related to the Zoom login pass password we got that covered but some of the main points that i really want to focus on is the member webcam video conference call uh we want to make sure that, that we have good light as we see kimiko she has a nice design everybody looks wonderful today uh reverend elise uh dr Masso, we love your african attire that you're wearing you can go in and talk a little bit more about that which everyone looks great so you're wearing the bright colors you're looking awesome 
We're going to cover, we're going to make sure we stay on point today with a one hour and 15 minute meeting. Dr. Blair's not here, so it might be shortened a little bit. Uh, and we, we're starting the meeting on time. Okay. That's what I have as far as our news and welcome. We're going to move now into our round table. Personal and professional updates. Each member at this time is given an opportunity to review the following. Goals over the week. We've had one week since we've met. Uh, what goals are we working on? Well, let's recap that. Needs. What do we need from this mastermind group? What are we looking for? Each member, collective skill sets, diverse backgrounds. What are we looking for from this mastermind group? Challenges. Current challenges in our businesses. Could be our business, could be our personal life, could be things that we're working on. Commitment to goals. Uh, why are these goals relevant? Why are they relevant? Why are we saying we want to be relevant and let's add a little bit of purpose to that, okay? Let's start off right there before we move on. Uh, I'm gonna have Rev. Elise, uh, Cooper go first this week. So Rev, how about you go first? As it relates to, um, to relevancy, and I, am, I'm, am I reporting on what has happened in this past week? Am I correct about that? Yes, yes, yes. Well, uh, I am delighted. Yeah, go for it. Yes. I'm go, I'm go, no, go ahead. Tell me. Um, again, as it relates to your purpose, uh, meaning just that since it's been a week, the goals that we've you've addressed from last week that you, you're working on, uh, your needs, what are you looking for from each member of this mastermind? And the child, the goal, why is the goal that you're, why is it that what you're working on is relevant? What do you want to bring from this, what you're working on? Okay. Okay, well, part of part of my issue with relevancy had to do with technology. Okay. Uh, being able to get on the computer, do the things that I needed to do when I needed to do them without an extreme anxiety, case of anxiety. Uh, so I'm grateful to say that the uh, advice that was given by, by uh, uh, Dr. Blair, which was wow. to add some humor to the, to the situation and... Uh, not to take, in other words, not to take myself so seriously. Um, that really helped. It really? really did. So I found myself laughing my way through things that I needed help with, or at least reaching out to get the help that I needed. And then I was able to identify um, uh, other people who could help me so that I didn't feel like I was wearing out the, the, um, the resources that I had. So that was helpful. Um, I also gave myself permission to just back up a little bit and, and get more rest. Uh, I did have a, a, I still have a health issue that I'm, that I'm addressing. As you can hear, my voice is kind of gravelly and I do hope that I don't start coughing, but um, I, I had to give myself um, permission to rest more. And I guess that the, the relevant, the, 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 where that relates to relevancy is that I do have to acknowledge that my body is at this season of growth and development and um, if I have a, 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 a malady, I need to pay attention to it, take the medicine, get the rest, and do what I need to do to bring myself forward. So um, it's a change of mindset, um, an acknowledgement of who I am and what I'm currently involved in. So that was helpful. Uh, but on the upside of that, I was called to do something of a a cultural intervention, I guess that's what I'm calling it, uh, with a, a sister here in town who, uh, a PhD prepared psychologist, educator at uh, San Diego State University who had been released from her position and uh, was looking to see what she was going to do next. And I was called by uh, another friend who is also a PhD prepared psychologist and works in the, in, the, in the college system. So here I am talking to two PhD prepared educators and offering assistance to the one that has been released from her job and now is looking to see what to do with uh, all of the amazing talents and gifts that she has to move beyond this place. And so I was able to say the terminology mastermind and uh, 
share with her what had uh, had had happened with with me sharing that with you and how we were now having a mastermind meeting and she got super excited and so much so to the point that um she and my other friend are going to join me in the knowledge builders blueprint uh course so that i can take it along with them and gain uh, more confidence in my ability to master this information. Um, so we've had two meetings in this past week, and the last one was today, and we were able to talk about um, uh, what uh, Dr. Tanis Stark's um, positive trajectory is going to be as she seeks what she's going to be doing next to uh, move her, uh, her uh, uh, career along. So I feel as though I was, uh, was able to participate in that in a positive way that it's definitely relevant because of what Dr. Tannis Stark is able to do insofar as pulling together people and actually functioning as a cultural broker. So we were able to help her identify that terminology, uh, take a look at what her business name might be. And so I felt really great about that. So here's what I hear, doctor. Um, here's what I hear, Revelise. You, you, you have uh, interjected some ideas into others based upon last over a week, the mastermind meeting that we've had. It's caused some spark. It's caused some energy. It's caused a lot of things to go on. But you've also been able to apply immediately some of those aspects which you've had from last week's meeting and, all, and, and immediately interject that into uh, the PhD students, as you mentioned. Uh, that's relatively fast. And that is one of the main purposes that we want to do is applying the principle, applying the principle. This is not just a mastermind meeting that we say, here is our collective group. We keep this precious knowledge and we're going to develop, which is true. However, Applying the principle actually means that you spread the word in your own respective right and you touch and you reach others. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, let's see. Miss O, uh, Kimiko, what could you say about with what Revelis has mentioned? Any comments? And by the way, you might hear this every so often. This is this magic bell right here. That just means this is our time signal. Okay. Cool. We're going to be very time proficient. So um as we go over sometime two minutes or three minutes this bell just means uh roughly 10 to 15 30 more seconds we're going to kind of smooth things out okay okay uh, one thing i like that um she said well there were two uh terms that i heard that i had not heard before one was cultural intervention and the other was cultural broker so i i, I really like those two terms what i liked was that she took what she got from our last meeting and used it someplace. My, my, one of my things that I believe in my life is if you know something and you're not utilizing it to help somebody else or to do something with it, then what good is the knowledge? So I was impressed that she actually um, mm. reached out to someone um, and shared what she had, what we had talked about last time. Excellent. Kimiko. Yeah, I agree with it. Uh, some of the, my professor told, uh, taught, and the university told me, I'll to put sometimes more important than important uh, input so that utilize the things we learn is very important. I also uh, I totally agree with the, um, when I talk about the, my issue, time management, uh, she told me, she advised me that this is exactly uh, mastermind works so that I am looking for uh, how this course goes, and also I would like to share the, the knowledge to the others. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Kimiko, you are up next. Again, uh, goal wins, goals met, needs. What are you looking for from the mastermind group? Challenges, uh, current challenges in your business, communication goals. Why are these mm -hmm. goals relevant? Okay. Well, it's kind of, oh, uh, how can can I <laughs> tell you? Um, okay. Uh, la last week, I uh, I think I told my issue is time management because addition to my work, I need I start to I assigned a new course Happiness Study Academy for one year, 
and I have a, a, a lot of things to do. And, and also, I need to develop my new course, uh, train, the, train the Trainer course of my uh, Vision Roadmap programs. So it, oh. so many pro, uh, things I need to do. And uh, I, I don't know yet this mastermind course goes, but uh, uh, Alice told me that oh. this is exactly uh, this my uh, course will work for time management prior, maybe prioritize or uh, to um, to focus the uh, what I'm 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 doing. So uh, I think this uh, I don't know yet, but uh, this advice uh, already works well and. Uh, also, I would like to, I uh, would like more, uh, more about Alice's ad advice, uh, uh, Patricia's advice that just take time sometimes. Is that so? Yes. I think so. She told me, so I'd like to know more about it. So uh, it's, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Before we move on, what do we see behind you? Can you please explain that background? It says vision. I can't read everything. But your background, it actually says vision roadmap, uh -huh. balanced vision mapping with five well-being elements, and mm -hmm. it says Kimiko Fujino. So this is your uh, logo. This is your slogan. What what does that mean? I mean, uh, to you, you mean I need I uh, I will I should explain the program contents sometimes. Yes, please. Yes, yes. Ah, uh, okay. Um. Oh. When I started teaching at the universities, uh, actually I taught uh, for university, and I uh, gradually found uh, most oh. of the student doesn't have any vision or purpose of life. Not only maybe stu uh, uh, university student, but uh, working people too. So uh, uh, first, I intended to teach marketing because I was in Coca-Cola for a long time. But I uh, switched my mind and uh, I started, oh. I, uh, I tried to find out oh. how to make them, let them a uh, purposeful life. So that then I, uh, <clears throat> I read the many books about the vision or those. Uh, I also took uh, uh, Anthony Robbins seminar. And, Tony uh, Robbins, okay. Yeah. Uh, it was quite expensive, <laughs> but so many, 3,000 people in the one arena, and it was kind of so exciting. Mm. So anyway, the, the, I combined those all elements, and then they created my vision roadmap. My vision roadmap is to uh, uh, identify or create your vision and visualize them with not letters, but visuals. It means illustration or pictures. And the vision is divided into five elements. One is uh, a lifestyle, including health. And two, career, uh, uh, career and self-development. And three, um, relational. Vision and uh, first, uh, a little bit financial vision, and uh, last one is uh, social contribution. So, so those five elements. So that it means very much balanced, because I saw. So Hi. Oh, with with your vision roadmap, do you when you do your seminar, okay, at mm -hmm. university or in private? Do you mention all of these uh, five points? Is this part of your coaching? Yes, exactly. Okay. And uh, they can write visions as they like, but there are so many findings through academic scientific researches now, well-being. So uh, I introduce those elements, uh, 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 those learning to them, then they can uh, utilize those resources okay perfect and, uh, yeah uh, <laughs> i'm still learning that's why i uh, assign happiness study academy 
Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Um, Thank you for asking. You, you, you mentioned Miss O. So Miss O, can you jump in where she mentioned what you, uh, she actually gave a comment. Can you piggyback on what she said? Well, I remember she said that I told her to take, t take her time, that everything doesn't happen in a minute. You know, sometimes mm. we want everything to happen yesterday, and sometimes things take a long time to develop. And so mm. we have to give it time to evolve. Oh. Mm. Okay. okay. Thank you. I do have one question, though, um, Kamiko, about your Academy for Happiness. I hope that at some point in that Academy that you will explore the difference between happiness and joy. Mm. I think those are quite different. And, 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 you know, sometimes joy is even more powerful than happiness. So I just wanted to throw that in. I hope there will be some, extra, some um, you know, some, that you will look at both of those uh, mm -hmm. words, happiness and joy. Because sometimes people use them interchangeably. And, and they really mm. okay i do uh oh. may i talk yes yes of course uh, i i didn't learn about the joy yet but uh what i oh. learned from that course professor uh Tarben oh. Shaha said that uh short-term pleasure and uh, uh meaning meaning long-term meaning is quite different so but both are important. Yeah, yeah, because happiness seems happiness can be a little more short term. I think joy is more everlasting. Yeah. Right. I, I, that's it. That's my interpretation. I see. Mm. The, I see. Reverend uh, Cooper is shaking her head. Maybe she wanted to say I, something. I, it might be a good question to my professors because mm -hmm. uh, I can make a question anytime wow. through uh, online to him. So uh, it might be a good question question yeah i would i would definitely do it okay yeah thank you Fred cooper yes sir um joy you you shook your head why was that well what comes to me is is, is a scripture that is, has been very meaningful to me and that is that the joy of the lord right is our strength so the the joy comes from an understanding or a relationship with that that you value as being your sustaining force. Right. Mm -hmm. So, if, 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 in, in other words, it, it, it indicates a relationship, a long mm. relationship that uh, anchors in your purpose or mm. you know, find your purpose, because that's your final goal is for people to help them find their, their purpose, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for me, if you don't have a, a, a roadmap, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To your destination you don't know how to get there so for me if i recognize that i have a wellspring of joy no matter what obstacles i may come across on the pathway that mm -hmm. i will be given a way to get around them go through them go over them however but i can maintain my attitude of being able to progress Mm. Because mm -hmm. I, I, I have a, a, a road on which to get there and I have a, a, an energy to get there. Yes. Dr. Mm -hmm. Masseau, how about you? Uh, let's see. Wins over the week, goals met, needs. What are you looking for again from the mastermind group, current challenges, and what goals are relevant and why? Well, they, one, two things stood out with me last week. Um, one was, of course, relevancy. Uh, because it's a question that I often find myself asking. And the other was, uh, I don't think this was one of your bullet points, but the other was sharing your gift. Mm. And the sharing the, the, the sharing the gift really interests me because sometimes, number one, we don't know what our gift is. Uh -huh. <laughs> and number two, we don't know when we're sharing it. Sometimes it's 40 years <laughs> later, somebody will say, oh, Miss O, remember you told me this. And as Wayne knows, I have a, a huge Facebook presence. And mm -hmm. whatever I do, I have to share it. I mean, and I even asked Wayne, I said, do you mind if I post this? So yeah. I posted about Mastermind and I asked the question, are you relevant? I mean, they didn't know where it came from. I didn't say it necessarily was from Mastermind. mastermind. Mm -hmm. And I was, it was very interesting to hear what people said. You know, most said they were relative and most came from a spirit. Is there a, a, a kind of, a kind of, um, most of them came from a spiritual point of view with, with the relevancy. And only one person 
said he was not relevant. And I asked him why, and he said, because I don't do anything. You know, I don't do anything, and I don't think I'm valuable to anybody. I can't remember exactly uh, mm. what it was, but I thought that was interesting because, you don't. and he was a young person. <laughs> How do you think that someone would actually think that they're not relevant? So I think um, I'll probably run with that whole am I relevant thing for some time. I mean, I, I've even been asking people that I call up, do you think you're relevant? Um, because that's, that's one of those other things that gives us strength when we know who we are and we know that, you know, what we can, what we can give, et cetera. And I talked about mastermind and one person said to Wayne, why am I not in it? You know, Keisha. <laughs> yeah. No. And so I will spread what I know. I don't, what I want to get from this, I, I imagine, uh, mm. I want, I'm always interested in new ideas. Um, I'm always interested in learning something new. Uh, for example, to hear Kamiko talk about, you know, her Academy for Happiness. I mean, who would think of that? I never even thought about that as something that you could actually do. Um, to hear uh, Mrs. Cooper, I was struck last week when she talked about the struggle, having lost, a ch having lost children, having lost uh, a husband. And I share those powerful things. I mean, I won't say Reverend Cooper said this, but I might say a friend of mine, because when, you know, I get a lot of questions and a lot of inboxes and a lot of emails about things. And I, you know, and I would say, I know someone who lost a husband and two children and, and her life has evolved and she's going on and she's, you know what I mean? So whatever I take from here, one thing I know is that I will use it. Mm. Uh, and I don't know. So I will share my gift, whatever that is, but I'll also share the gifts that you have given to me. And I think we have to always be open, open to gifts. So my need really is to just get more clarity um, as to what, what we're doing. And, and, and my need is to also figure out how I'm going to use what I get from here, because I like the diversity of the group. I like that we're all coming from totally different places. I see almost everything thing through the eyes of a teacher. So I'm always listening and learning and sharing. Um, my challenge is, well, my challenge is that sometimes I think too much. You know, I think about, I, I thought about this group last week as I was going to bed. I was like, oh my goodness, what was that? What were we talking about? So I think a lot and I'll get up in the middle. I'm a prolific note taker. I mean, if you, these are my notes from last week. Oh, awesome. All over the wow. I'm just a prolific note taker. I'm, I'm sitting here now taking notes. Um, so my, my, my challenge is to just be conscious of what's happening and to be able to take everything in and then to figure out how I'm going to share it. Because again, mm -hmm. Anything I learn from here, um, I will be sharing with somebody, you know, and so that's, that's my challenge. So my commitment is to continue to, to do what I do, to share. Um, and then my, one of my goals, I think I talked last week about um, this whole combining the young and the old. Yes. That's really my goal is to figure out a way to bring those two groups together. And mm -hmm. after meeting with you last week, then I thought, oh, maybe I'll make that the theme of our family reunion, which we're having a year from July. And, I'm, and so I presented that to our family reunion group. And so that's going to be our theme, Y-O-U, Young and Old United. And we're going to pair up, you know, we're going to pair up a young person and a young person and an older person throughout the entire reunion. So, um, you know, so I just like hearing your ideas and then figuring out how I can steal them, how I can best steal them and share them with somebody. Rev Cooper, I see you're taking notes. Um, can, uh, quick question for you. Yes, sir. Why are we here? We're gonna not, okay, and not as an existence, but why are we having this mastermind? She asked a question, you know, bring clarity to why we're here. What's a, a one to two sentence answer? Why are we here? Why are we doing this? A seed was planted in your spirit mm -hmm. to want to give back. Mm -hmm. I needed help to get through this course. I could not conceptualize how I could do it. I mentioned it to you and bingo, bada bing, bada bam. The outline was done. The 
queue was set up for the Zoom, immediately I could see how it could be done. It is a response to my prayers for guidance. Uh, Wayne, I say one thing. My husband asked me when I finished the Zoom last week. Sure. He was saying, Boy, that was long. <laughs> and he said, what was it about? And I said, well, I can't really explain it, but it was very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I will use this <laughs> one. He just look, gave me that look like he always gives me. A <laughs> okay. Yep. Kimiko, why are we here? One to two sentences. Why are we here? Um, how well I can see, yeah. Hmm. This is my reason, or uh, yes, or you're 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 a part of the group. <laughs> what the mm -hmm. answer that you give is inclusive of your being a part of this group. So why are we here as a collective? Why? Hmm. Uh, to enjoy the diversities. Okay. And also exchange culture, uh, no, um, exchange ideas, okay. learning, and uh, to spread those uh, learning to the others. This is why I'm here. Okay. We have a learning curve and we have uh, diverse backgrounds and we're sharing and we're gathering, galvanizing based on that. What we're going to move to. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sorry. Actually, when I talked about this mind, a mastermind group to my friend, they are so much excited with, and what is this? <laughs> so uh, I, I can't explain much yet, but at uh, the end of this uh, course, I'm looking for it to explain everything to, uh, to, the others, to the others, my friends, yeah. Okay. Because mastermind is not for uh, people, don't know much in Japan, so. Yes, yes. In general. I would arguably say that it's, it's available in the United States. It's available to those who are uh, seeking it. Do, mm -hmm. are there a lot of people participating, creating masterminds, going to mastermind seminaries? Uh, possibly not. Uh, mm -hmm. Is it at your reach? Yes, it's there. The internet has provided numerous ways to, we can, communicate, learn how to do things. Um, what we're doing though is applying the principles. We all have genius inside. Mm -hmm. We all have a master mind that connects us one to another, that connects, that connects us to a greater mastermind called the universe, called God, called the creator, called numerous names but we have inside of us a mastermind, but it takes cultivation, it mm -hmm. takes development, it's a process. It's about exercising the muscle, okay? Mm -hmm. And from there, we'll realize that our answers are literally in our reach. They're within mm -hmm. the mind, okay? Um, Yes, I'm going to leave it at that as we move along. So let's talk about now, very quickly, urgent problems. We're actually not too bad off schedule. With I have 9.37. I said we're going to start here at 9.34. So let's look here at some of these uh, urgent problems, okay? I asked a question, and what are two to three urgent problems that are addressed or have evolved since meeting number one? We've already done this. You've already addressed this. What we're going to do now is simply give a quick explanation of what your problem is uh, since last week. If it is not since last week, possibly it was prior to last week, okay? It could be something that you're addressing immediately and saying, this is something based on what I'm thinking at now, here's a goal that I have and here's a problem that I'm not, I'd like to get some mastermind advice about, okay? So, Let's look at two to three problems. Uh, if you have one, that's fine. If you have two, if you have three, that's fine. Let's address these problems and let's let the mastermind go to work. Okay, uh, let's see. Dr. Misso, can you start us off? Let me start you off. Um, this is sort of a, this is symbolic. Um, I'm doing a puzzle, my fourth puzzle that I've ever done in my entire life. It's something that I started with this 
quarantine. And someone sent me this puzzle that had been put together and she took it apart. And, and so I've been putting it together and I'm missing, I have four pieces left and these pieces don't fit anywhere. They don't fit anywhere. And I said to my husband, I said, I'm just going to forget about this puzzle. I'm just going to put it under the table and I'm not going to do anything. And he said, babe, the puzzle is just like life. Mm. Sometimes they're missing pieces. Sometimes you can put it. He's so, so good. Sometimes you can put them together and sometimes they'll be missing, but you can still go on. So what I saw as a, and I think a lot, so I don't see my problems necessarily as very specific problems, but there are oftentimes when I have a puzzle piece missing and it will frustrate me, you know, even in life or even doing that puzzle. So I, I think my problem for this past week was just trying to uh, not get totally stressed out about missing pieces, whether it's in my life whether it's in a puzzle, whether it's in a relationship, you know, either find another piece to fit that will fit there or just go on with the missing piece and do the best you can. Mm, missing pieces to a puzzle. Okay. Uh, Revelise Cooper. Missing pieces to a puzzle. Okay. Um, I, can, I, can, I can definitely relate to that because for me, the mastermind process, as you say, is not a new concept. Mm -hmm. I've known about it for many years. I've mm -hmm. done it in the past, but I never thought about it as a, 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 a vehicle to generate revenue. Mm. And so that's what this course is intended to teach. But it starts with, first of all, identifying or discovering your own personal superpower. Mm. Well, I have had difficulty identifying that. Other people have helped me and continue to help me. But from that place of personal knowing, I haven't found that. And so uh, it made it very difficult for me to build on the, uh, doing the course. Because from there, I was supposed to um, identify my ideal client. Well, I couldn't identify my, my ideal client because I, could, I was still fumbling with what my superpower was. Now, what I want to do is, because mm. I have the gift of storytelling, I want mm. to be able to teach other people how to tell an effective story in five minutes or less. Mm -hmm. Which means mm -hmm. I have to be able to break down what it is that I do. So I started trying to do that, but my brain wasn't computing. So this is where uh, the missing pieces come in. I was able to get other people who know me or who respect what I do and they're going to go through the course with me and they're going to help me and I'm going to help them. So, yeah. Hmm. Here's a question. Um, that superpower. This is a, a question that we need to discover and find out at some point in our life. As Miss O mentioned, the young and the old, okay? Bridging that gap. If youth find out what their superpower is at an earlier stage, they can develop it. It changed the whole trajectory of one's life. It is nevertheless never too late to discover and find out what your superpower is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Never too late. <laughs> to discover and be in per continual pursuit of that superpower and development, manifestation of that superpower, okay? But as we've mentioned, as we've mentioned, as we've mentioned the unconscious part says, <laughs> unconsciously looking for it. This is not a random thing. Well, one day I wake up, what's my superpower? It's a consciousness that we're saying, I'm in continual pursuit of my superpower, superpowers, and developing these superpowers. Some are vocations. Vocation is very uh, specific as it relates to skill sets. It's not a job or an occupation. It's the skill set. It's the application of that which you do, and it's a part of you. Okay, so these superpowers have multiple aspects. It's not just, it could be one. 
we look at a person such as a Michael Jordan, who has taken his superpower to a very high level, possibly to the highest in the game, but he's developed it, he's perfected it, and it looked and it brought about, as you mentioned, Revely Smith Cooper, financial rewards from a superpower that he developed. Okay. Some they say, I'm going straight for the money. You might be missing some aspect because you never develop your superpower, which will give you all those things that you're looking for. Miss O, I see you want to jump in. Go ahead. Yes. Well, I think two things about superpower. I mean, you have to have an enormous amount of confidence in order to get in touch with your superpower. Um, because sometimes when you think you have a superpower, the humility piece is left out. I mean, I know a lot of people who, who would tell me what their superpower is, and I would think, for real? You know, I think your superpower all, also changes over time. Sure. I don't think it's always the same. Um, and also, even if you identify a young person's superpower, you identifying it doesn't really mean anything. Oh, Lord. Let me just, let me just, I'm sorry. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. That, that, that's my grandchildren don't know that I'm on this. I'm going to have to go to grandpa. Um, I said, even, I said only, I think we can only identify our own superpower. You know, I don't think, I don't get up every day and say, oh my God, what is my superpower? Just like you said. But people will tell me what they see. I, I don't know. I don't know. I just think, I just think it's hard to identify, um, unless you have an enormous amount of confidence. Of course, Michael Jordan, that's a, a physical thing, so that's a lot easier to identify. But it's something that we need to get in touch with, but it, it's not as easy as it sounds. Absolutely. And it, and it is fluid. It's fluid. And I, I think you mentioned part of the equation, part of the answer, and that is it changes at various stages in our life. Right. And that's why we need to be in constant pursuit and the development and manifestation of our superpowers. Right. It's a pursuit. They call it the pursuit of happiness, the pursuit of, of life itself. Okay. The development of one's superpower might take us to a certain position. And in that time and space in life, within a certain age category, we've reached it. We've fallen short. We've minimized, we've, we've hovered, we've, we've covered it to a certain degree. Sometimes if we're lucky, we're blessed, we can maximize it, okay? But it has a window. These superpowers have a window of opportunity. And the main point of consciousness is to say, to be aware, is that when that opportunity is there, you clutch it, you grab it, and you run with it. And you run with it with confidence. You run with it with the with the uh, the focus that says I got this, Kimiko. Uh, let's move to you. Super uh, uh, quickly, your question, and what has evolved uh, since last week? Any question, first of all, that you want to address? Mm, evolved. Mm. Yes. Uh, was there any a problem that is we have looked at over since the past week? Prior to last week, was anything new developed? Uh, I don't see anything special, but I have a question about superpower. Is that okay? Sure. Sure. Uh, because I never heard of superpower uh, so far. So mm. uh, it's not a uh, strength or gift. No. I um, here's an example of, of a superpower. Uh -huh. It's a skill that one uh -huh. has. A superpower can be, I'll address it like this. In Japan, mm -hmm. I've come across many grade school students that have an extreme talent when it comes to drawing and writing. Manga, mm -hmm. uh, a type of, and what I mean by manga is animation and drawing, okay? What I've come to realize is that that is a developed skill that comes from the Japanese writing system itself. Means that in, mm -hmm. in the United States, we have the English alphabet, okay? Mm -hmm. That English alphabet has 26 characters. Mm. In Japan, they have four different writing systems of alphabet. Right. Kanji, which mm -hmm. you have over 2,000 for academic purpose, uh, uh, 2,000 for common purposes, 10,000 for academic, over 50,000 kanji characters in total. We have mm -hmm. 26, imagine over 50,000, which literally can take even the PhD academic a lifetime to kind of learn. 
right. they break it down to the hiragana and katakana, roughly about 104 plus each. Then you have kanji or romaji, which you're looking at. Uh, 23 of the 26 U.S. or 23 of the U.S. Uh, of the English alphabet characters. X doesn't exist. L doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. uh, X, L, and uh, what is it? The other. Q. Uh, Q. Q. Exists. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'll think of it in a second. Okay. Here's the point. Things develop your talent and your skill, okay? Mm -hmm. These students develop a system of writing and artistry because they develop at an early age. However, the school system doesn't promote an individual side to say, develop your artistry. Mm -hmm. That's a personal thing that they can do on the side, okay? That's a side piece that the individual has to do outside of the academic setting. Developing one's superpower may not come from the conformity of doing what is done in the group. Mm. Society might tell you, follow this route, go to college, get your four-year degree, go get a job, go get married, start your life, two kids and a family, and live a great... That's the standard conformity route. It's not bad. That's, I don't mention that in a negative way. However... A superpower might fall. A superpower might be something uh, outside of what that structure says. A superpower comes from a personal realization. Superpower mm -hmm. comes from a personal point of of looking into oneself, as we, as Doctor Miss O mentioned, looking inside. <coughs> Sometimes it comes from discovery, accidental even. Sometimes it comes from cause and effect. Tragedy can bring about a superpower. Joy can bring about a superpower. It depends on, it depends on many aspects of this pendulum. Mm. However, if we were to look at from a lifespan standpoint, those individuals throughout the history of time who have found their superpower within that time space that it existed and it permeated have brought about wonderful things to the planet. Mm. They have literally transformed life itself. They are what's called disruptionist. They have disrupted the curve. It's called disruption theory. Here's everything going normal. Then a disruption curves. The internet, a disruption comes along. The computer, disruption. The telephone, disruption. Okay. Martin Luther King, we can look at the Coretta Scott, we can look at individuals who have brought about disruptions on our curve that have literally brought about a different paradigm in our existence. Mm. That's on a grand scale. On a smaller scale, individually, it can just be about healing. It could be about a, a different focus. It could be about a revelation in our life. It could be about helping. Okay. So it, it, it can go very high. And sometimes it's often very personal. Mm -hmm. but we definitely want to look for our superpower within that time and space that it exists. Can I say one thing? Two yes. Things. Yes. Um, yes. <coughs> I, wrote down, I wrote down open door because we always have to leave the doors open. Yes. In other words, that, that's how another superpower may get in. We can never close a door. Uh, secondly, I saw something on, I heard something on TV today and it said creativity is time independent. Mm. And I think everything is time independent. Uh, superpowers are time independent. There's no time frame in which it, you have to understand it and you have to acknowledge it. I mean, you can be 78 and you find another superpower. So it's not time independent. And when you talk, talked about um, disruption, we had a perfect example of that all day today. I've been watching the John Lewis, um, everything about him all day. And so he, you know, with his good trouble, his little, his mantra, good trouble, that shows how disruption, you know, can lead to very, uh, you know, it can lead to, to, to glory, to, to some joyous 
uh, result. That's right. Just, just to bring it down to a, a, perhaps a finer point, as we think about ourselves individually, it could be approached by just listing three things that make us individually stand out above and beyond our competition. So you're very right. It does not lend itself to conformity. It's what would take you out of the realm of conformity. Mm. For instance, your happiness uh, institute. That's, who, who thought of it? Who knew? Who, who would have come up with that? That's something that was born out of your desire to help people find their purpose. So it, it kind of goes along in, in that category as, as far as I can see. And those characters, I just thought about them. X, L, and V, letter V, okay? In, in, in Japanese, those do not exist in the, English, in the uh, Japanese alphabet. X, L, and V, when you're making the pronunciation. They have similar words that sound similar, but the actual letter itself doesn't exist. Okay? Well, I thought you said Q didn't exist as well. No, Ka, Q, Kyo. They exist. Oh, okay. Is, yes, okay. you do have the letter Q itself. Okay. Hi. Okay. Let's move on. What we see okay. here is now our professional goals. Everyone has stated one to two goals coming up this week. It's our, our timetable for the hot seat. And what that means is, as we sum it up here, via the notes that we have taken, each person can give their final reply, possibly addressing a name saying, Kimiko can say, well, this is what I gathered from Revelise Smith Cooper, this is what I got from Miss O, and vice versa. Or you can give a general summary of what your notes have brought about, okay? So uh, let's see, Kimiko, what are your notes? What do you have for us in, in your well, notes? I, well. I got the uh, new words, just like just uh, just I learned superpower, etc. Mm -hmm. This is uh, <clears throat> uh, the uh, one of the uh, learning today. Yes. Yeah, uh, since last year, and also, <clears throat> uh, well, luckily I have a time with Doctor Wayne from two o'clock, right? So that uh, <laughs> I can like <laughs> that reminds me I. I would like to learn uh, about the song that uh, um, who, who, who told me the song last time. Lift every voice and sing. Oh, yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to cover that today. Yeah, that's uh, luckily I could get it so that I, I can learn that a lot. So I, um, uh, those new learning I got. And, uh, uh, I need to explain the, about the goal this week. Yes. Do I need Okay. Sure. Um, yes, yes, yes. Um, I have just finished my uh, uh, spring semester yesterday, and so uh, I have just completed. Uh, this is uh, one of the challenge to uh, online class, whole online class, uh, six months. So uh, I would like to review it, and uh, I would like to um, somehow connect with the Happiness Study Academy with and learning from this group. So uh, maybe Dr. Wayne help me uh, in this afternoon. Sure. Help. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Okay. Dr. Misso. Uh, what I learned from Kimiko, Kimiko is, uh, I'm, I'm, a quote, I'm a quote person. Um, and I liked when she said, output is more important than input. And that's just something I have always believed. I've t I talked about it a little bit earlier. If you just keep it in, you know, it's an output that's really, really important. And what I learned from, from Reverend Cooper um, are several things. I, I like that she talked about her storytelling gift. And not only does she have that gift, but she also wants to teach others, share that gift with someone. So someone. I that was a perfect example of what we talked about in, in terms of the output uh, versus the input. Um, I also liked uh, when Wayne talked about, 
Oh, oh, that we each have that we each have a mastermind, and I, I've always believed that. And your mas and your mastermind might be something. You know, I've seen people who have a gift that they may think is not even a gift. It may be something. They may have a gift of cooking. They may have a gift. Of, I mean, it could be something very, very simple. But each one of us has a mastermind in some area. And I also got more clarity on why we are here as well. Okay. Revelation is Cooper. Uh, <clears throat> the terms that stepped out, <clears throat> stand out for me is uh, uh, that the missing puzzles, missing piece of, missing puzzle pieces, you can still go on. You can still live life, even though you may not have all, you may not see the picture as it was printed but that doesn't mean you still don't get the full idea of what was the picture. You just missing a couple of spots is, you know, so fill in the blanks. In other words, <clears throat> um, it's never too late to pursue and get to know what your superpower is, that it is not time dependent. It is time independent and uh, that it, it involves um, the pursuit of what are your skill sets what is the application? It may be multiple gifts. So you may be looking at, at, at more than one thing. So in other words, I need to broaden my perspective. And that you must have enormous confidence to acknowledge and operate in whatever your superpower is. Um, there's a lot of layers to that. And that it would take me more time to to go into that than what I think I have right now, but uh, but I'm going to um, I, I'm going to zero in on that some more, and that there is a window of discovery and maximization of your superpower, whatever it is at that time. There's a uh, there's timing that's involved, and um, I happen to believe that this is my timing to uh, be able to develop this and move forward with it. So I'm just elated at that. Uh, and that uh, the use, the, the proper utilization of a superpower will produce disruption. And that's exactly what I wanna do. Mm -hmm. So I'm grateful. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Um, I mentioned to you certain disruptionists and as they have occurred over time, the internet is a, is a disruption. Okay. We've went through several stages in our existence in humanity, obviously. Uh, if we look at it from more current, we went through an industrial age, which was called an industrial revolution. Okay. That transferred over into where we are more, more of a present, which is the what age? What age are we technically in right now? What is the age that is standard people say that we're in right now? Tech, the age of technology. Technological age, right? Yeah. Some yeah. people are stuck in the industrial age. Industrial age, yeah. Some people are literally stuck in the industrial age by way of thought, by way of action, uh, by way of vocation, their skill sets, what they do. Their learning curve is actually stuck and have not been able to transition over. Some people are progressing past the in intellectual, I should say, some people are moving past the information age that we are in now. You have forerunners. Those are what would be called um, people who you can say are optimist, people who have some kind of ingenuity, some people who say you are very brave. But what they're doing is once you remove all those various vocabulary words, what they're doing is tapping into that mastermind and projecting and moving forward into uh, the future. And they're allowing this energy to say, hey, let me discover. Let me actually uh, dive into what's next. But, they're, they're act but they're, what they're also doing is pushing forward and they're bringing others behind. Okay, So those forerunners are actually uh, bringing humanity in many ways to what is to become next. Another way of looking at it is you have sheep and you have those who are actually say, I'm not going to just follow the crowd and I'm going to be very proactive. Part of the mastermind is tapping into that superpower 
that says, let me look at who I am, take a realistic view of what I am and who I am, but also let me see and discover at this period in time what's going to take me forward. What great contribution am I going to leave on this planet? I'm going to leave my mark, okay? And this is how I'm going to leave my mark. Could be with my family, could be with friends, could be with my line of work, could be with business. It could be something bigger. But part of our mastermind mission is to leave, and first of all, exist with a purpose, relevancy, but also to leave something of great significance and important, better than what we've had. So leave something very positive behind. Okay. Um, another word that we looked at, uh, which was addressed, was the word self-esteem or confidence. Great words itself. There's other forms and there's other ways which um, I should say there's other ways, there's other terms that can be used. Has anybody ever heard of what self-efficacy is? Have you ever heard of that? I've, I've heard it. Yeah. So <laughs> when we look at uh, what self-efficacy is, this is the, this looks at not only the position of saying uh, where my self-esteem lies, but self-efficacy looks at various specific points um, as it relates to self-esteem in detail, okay? It's gonna kind of take a little bit while for me to really get into the uh, key points of what self-efficacy is. However, uh, uh, one of the things which we wanna look at is to say, okay, what's a cognitive approach that I look at myself? Okay. What's the analytical side that I look at myself? We, we, it, it really looks at detail of our existence. In our next session, I'll go into what self-efficacy is in very clear detail. I want to finish up today because we're actually at uh, one we hour, five minutes. Minutes. We started five minutes after and we're at, we're at exactly one hour right now. So, um, uh, I will I will leave it with that so we can finish on time. I know we also uh, chemical mentioned she has a couple of things that she needs to do. We're gonna come together again next week two more times. Uh, Miss O, did you want to say something before we close? No, 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 I'm good. <laughs> okay, uh, Kimiko, you're fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, Revelise, you okay? I'm good. I'm I'm looking forward to delving into what self efficacy is because I really didn't know. Okay, I'm going to tap into that. That's going to be a part of our, uh, I'll send that out to you in our notes. Matter of fact, self-efficacy deals with my personal dissertation. So it was a part of my research. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, yeah. well, so now I'm very better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I, I preach this thing. I, I say, listen, we need to have confidence, but beyond confidence, we need to understand what, self, what confidence really means. And it has a lot of layers. And when you get into what self-efficacy is, now you're really understanding mastermind. Yeah. You're really ah. understanding the mastermind. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to cover that next week. I'm going to leave that as a cliffhanger so that we can close it off with that. Okay, everybody. Thank you. We've had a wonderful time. Uh, I'll send out these notes with some updates. And everybody, will see you next week. Oh, Wayne, and I may put something on Facebook. Um, yeah. If that's okay. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Absolutely. I mean, I don't know what, but I'm, I'm just asking for permission. No I names or anything. And I, I will you, mention, I'll I mention Mastermind again. Everybody have a good evening or morning in Japan. Thank you. And take care. Okay. I have All the right. recordings here. So uh, let me continue on doing the recording side. You will get your copy. So Miss O. Would anybody have any objection to me uh, posting the re these recordings also on Facebook and online? I don't care. Is that fine? I don't yeah. see why not. Yeah, that's fine. Perfect. Yeah, the whole idea is to promulgate this, I this, this concept of mastermind. So I would think the faster it gets out there and the more people are buzzing about it, the more excited people are, the right. more benefit will be gained from it. Excellent. Right. Great. Okay, everybody, have a great evening. A great okay, morning. Thank you. Have you a too. great day. Right. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Love y'all.